What is up, everybody? Hope you're having an awesome day. We're going over five exercises you must do in order to have a good, proper, full, strong, and powerful shoulder turn. So you can crush that ball and have more of a stable, strong, powerful swing. Rock and roll. All right, so for this, all you really need is a golf club. I have a little stretchy band. Uh, there's all different types, so find one that is right for you, all right? Easy to get, Amazon, wherever. Exercise number one, get your club. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hold a, a club here about this far apart right below the head and right below the grip and here's what i want to do is i want straight arms and i'm going to take this back just like this both arms straight and i'm pulling back with one the top hand okay this hand is pulling as i keep everything straight and i'm going to hold it here and exhale so one i'm going to do like five of these okay hold and do both sides here turn this side too and breathe okay we're getting a good shoulder turn and we're activating our lower back as well because that's part of this but we need we want to keep pulling and feel that stretch in here and both sides and always do both sides because you don't want to be lopsided okay so do about five on each side exhaling and trying to get a little bit farther as you go each side good solid base and i'm just pulling with one and on the other way i'm pulling with the top hand pulling this back as far as i can keeping both arms as straight as possible right in there exercise number two get this in order to have a good shoulder turn we have to have some flexibility going on I want both of these this club overhead here and i'm doing a similar thing but i'm pulling down to this side here and you could bend a little, but you don't wanna, you don't wanna bend a lot. I'm just gonna pull here, and I'm just bending. That's all my bend, and then I'm pulling down, feeling the stretch in here, up and through my arm. Okay, again, exhale. And you wanna do five on each side. Great thing to do before you warm up and play, because you want good, deep shoulder turn. And you should get out of breath doing this if you're doing it correctly. Because you're taking deep breaths. You're pulling down and you're really putting your body in stretching mode. Oh, I heard a lot of cricks and pops right there. That's good. Always, regarding health, consult your local uh, health provider to make sure you're physically fit for strenuous activity. I'm not a doctor, so seek your doctor's advice for any medical issues you might have. Make sure you're fit, ready to rock and roll. Third stretch for your shoulders, it's really gonna help. All right, so remember how we did this, okay, on this side. So we're gonna do kind of the similar thing, but I'm gonna hold it behind my back with my hands like this, okay? See how my hands are right there? I don't want my, you could go either way, it doesn't really matter, but I like to go hands forward here okay you can go this way but i like to have my hands kind of facing me here okay just like so and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna lift that up as far as i can go and breathe through it okay so i i would do a maybe even a little wider grip here club head maybe end of grip here and stretch that Oh, that feels good. There you go, and stretch that. Do like five lifts like that. As far as you can go, don't push yourself too far here. You don't wanna tear a muscle or anything, you just wanna go until you feel it, and then breathe through it. And let the stretch just take place. Hold it for about five seconds or so while you breathe. By the way, hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any future videos that come out, especially ones that will help your game last a long, long time, which is what I care about. 
Oh, all right. Moving on. All right, this is where I get my stretchy band. Now I want to, now that my shoulders are pretty good and fairly stretched out, all right, and just, just do a little sh shoulder roll forward and backwards or backwards and forwards, whatever you got, okay? Just so you, you loosen those up, especially after you just stretched them, keep them loose, okay? Shake it out, good. So this is where I get my stretchy band. And I'm just gonna step on it here and get a nice wide stance. And in order to have a powerful golf swing, we've gotta have some strength here. So I'm just gonna hold this and just stretch it out like so. And I'm working this part of my shoulder here and my tricep. Hand, hand isn't like this, hand is this direction. So kind of backhanding that up, just like you would in a golf swing, okay? Find the right resistance band that works best for you. Grab it lower if you want a little more. And you can feel it up here in the trapezoid. All of this is getting a good workout. Do about 10 of these, okay? And then switch sides. Same thing. Can't just work one side. We gotta work both sides. Because as you're up here in your golf swing, that's this move here. You're pulling down, you're rotating, and you've gotta have some strength here so you keep your form in your golf swing. So there's a great shoulder stretch. So about 10 on each side. And then just shoulder roll that out. Keep them nice and loose. All right, last exercise. I'm gonna, again, continue with stretchy band here. And this is kind of the last thing I like to do, especially when I'm getting ready to go play. And I'll just do a little bit less when I'm about to go play than if I'm just uh, doing a workout. All right, so figure out where's a good spot for you to hold your stretchy band, depending on what kind you have. I go about right there and I'm gonna start off low and I'm just gonna pull these out, go a little wider, pull it out. As I pull out low, it's really working that lat, which all that, I mean, you look at Bryce and DeChambeau, these lats are ginormous. You're gonna get a lot of strength here. So as I pull this out, I'm working on that lat muscle a little bit. I'm gonna come here again. We're using, it's working that lat again, a little bit higher up this time. And then I'm going over my head and it's just kind of move into a different piece of that lat muscle slash shoulders as well. So that was one set, let's say five each. Do it again, one. If it's too hard, just use one part of that stretchy band. One, two, three, four, five. Try to keep the hands low as you do it. It's also getting a good little tricep. Two, three, four, five. Overhead. One, two, three, four, five. And I would do three sets of those if I'm not gonna play. If I am gonna play, I'm gonna do one set of 10 each. And this is how you stretch out your shoulders. Great stretch out slash shoulder workout. If you wanna have a good full shoulder turn in your golf swing, because not only did we work on strength, we worked on flexibility and we did it all together so that now when you swing, you're gonna have the range of motion that you're looking for the more you do this, the strength you need to maintain that form and your structure through your golf swing. And as you come through, because you work both sides, you're gonna be able to really extend that and continue with your structure throughout the entirety of your golf swing. And you're gonna have a good uh, overall strength and health that you need to be able to perform the way that you're looking for. That's your five shoulder exercises you must do if you want the proper shoulder turn. Man, that feels really good. Ready to rock and roll. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you. See you next video.